All right, so I've gone ahead and shaped my fuselage and done some of the skinning. And if you want, we can go ahead and look at some of these things that we did. So we altered this cross section up here at the inflection for the, the uh, cockpit windshield, adjusted the skinning so that it lined up with both the top and the side view plan forms, set up our cross sections, and then we added this little bit of lift to the bottom of the tail. And I added a narrow cross section back here as an ellipse and just kind of rounded out this closure. And then, you know, we can press R, center in on this and take a look. All I did was smooth out these feature lines and make it so that it closes cleanly. So now that we have that, we can change that back to either a wire view or even none if we want to only look at the feature lines. And we can talk about adding a wing. So what we're going to do, we're going to pick a wing from our geometry browser, click add. And you'll notice that because I added it as a child of the fuselage, it's got this indentation, but it's not attached right now. So if I come up to fuselage and start dragging this around, the wing doesn't care because it's not attached. From an organization standpoint, it's under there, but it's not actually connected to anything. I set this back to zero, go to wing, transform, and attach translate to the component. Now, if we come in and say, move the fuselage, the wing is gonna track along with it. So this is how you can attach components to parents in VSP and make them move around and rotate. So we'll see more of that later, but for right now, let's go ahead and shape this wing. So we can go into transform and we're gonna drag this in X and make it go back until we think we're about in the ballpark. And, you know, say maybe about there, Let's call that 45 feet, I'd say. And we know from our document here that our wingspan is 112 feet, seven inches. I say, all right, let's go to our section because we only have a single section wing. We can either do it here in span or do it in plan form. Let's do 112 plus seven twelfths. And that's pretty darn close. That's kind of right lined up with where this trapezoidal wing shape should corner. Uh, I'm pretty satisfied with that, so we're gonna go ahead and move on. Now from the top-down view, it's pretty clear that we have at least two sections to this wing. So we have a section here and an outboard section here. So we can go to section and split, and all that does is make two equal span segments of the wing, and it divides everything up so that you still have the exact same trapezoidal plan form. Okay, so let's say, for example, we want to drag the root down to about there. And you know what? That's, let's call that 25 feet. And we can adjust the tip cord to about there. And we can bring our span back. Notice how it's maintaining that leading edge sweep that we have set right now. That span looks about 18 to me. And now let's back the sweep some more to that's about right at 35 and we can go ahead and continue trying to tweak the tip cord to maintain the shape that we want but if you look at this overhead view this is basically a zero degree or a perpendicular to the center line of the aircraft so why don't we just force it to do that rather than tip cord let's turn I'll tell you what let's do one better we're going to change root cord to a secondary sweep location currently set at one and we're going to set this to zero now what this is going to do is force the trailing edge to be straight now we can adjust the tip cord to make sure that it lines up appropriately that looks like about eh, let's say a bit more than that maybe 12.3 that's not too bad and then we need to come out and change this outboard section so to do that, what we need to do is reset the span and then start adjusting the tip cord. Well, we can either go and do the calculation to find the half span, subtract 18, and then punch that number in manually, or because VSP has smart input, uh, input fields, we can just do parenthesis 112 plus 7 twelfths close divided by 2 minus 18 feet. And we're right back where we want to be. If we go to our plan form, 112.583 is right where we want it. So we're doing really good there. 
let's change this sweep back to something more appropriate, say 27. And now we are simply going to adjust this tip cord to something like, let's call it 4.5 feet. And there you have it. So we've got a top-down planform of the wing set up to roughly match this overhead view of everything. Our wingspan is input correctly, and it looks like we're pretty good. So we're just going to repeat these steps for things like the horizontal tail, and uh, I'll show you how to do it for a vertical tail in another video. But for right now, I'm going to add that tail, and then we're going to pick back up where we left off.